talk. I'm in the NJD next door. He could have been a millionaire. A box never once. Welcome and good evening. We welcome you to our Monday night broadcast of the NBA here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony. And Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter David Aldridge will see the Dallas Mavericks facing the Houston Rockets. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. They've got Levitsky. Jason Kidd is out there with Terry. Then it's Chandler. And it's Marion in at the three. Two on the clock. They get a bet. Yao's shot is good. Yao's got the first points up on the board here for Houston. It's not easy trying to keep Yao Ming off the glass. Just wreaking havoc with his activity on the offensive board. Now here's Terry. Rebounded by Tracy McGrady. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Here's McGrady. Takes it inside over Terry. Knocks down the 10-footer. Yeah, McGrady inside is confident, using his outstanding length to get the shot he wants and to get it off. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Terry against McGrady. Terry dishes to Marion. Kicks to Nowitzki. Nowitzki sets a screen for Kidd. Back to Nowitzki. Terry, that's a two. And it's Terry again missing. It's Battier on the wing. Guarded by Marion. Stola passes to Yao. Now Alston. Some nice passing there by Houston. Boy, McGrady, an elite talent. I mean, a remarkable athlete. Tremendous bounce and speed and strength. And he continues to get better. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Free throw good, McGrady. And McGrady drops them both. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Alston against Kidd. Chandler up top. Top of the key, Terry. And it's Terry again missing. Early on, he misses to open the game. Their offense right now still trying to find its way. Alston, good. And, and creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. And so it's Dallas with him. Looking for the first basket of the game. Pass to Terry. Shot to stop the run. Up and in. It's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. His first make. And, you know, maybe that will get him going. To the inside. Yao. The shot's good. Austin making the play. Yao's got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. On the wing, Jason Terry. Nowitzki with the screen on McGrady. Terry kicks to Nowitzki. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. Pure shooting ability on display from Nowitzki. I promise it's not as easy, folks, as he makes it appear. Now the pass to McGrady. Back to Alston. This one for three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Outside kid. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Nowitzki sets a screen for two. And another basket for Dallas. Well, that was Dirk Nowitzki getting in the way of the defense right there. Well done. Rockets leading by four. Here's Alston. Yao with a screen on Kier. And here's Alston. Down to five on the shot clock. A jump hook, and that one goes long. Mavericks trail by four. Greg, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. Now the pass to McGrady. 
buries it from three-point range. McGrady's got seven. And Yao just so big, he's able to see over the top of the defense, and that allows him to find an open team. Kid dishes to Marion. He kicks it to Chandler. Chandler with a screen for two. Back to Chandler. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. Chandler getting it done. Nice job setting the screen and then rolled to the right spot at the right time. And so it's Houston with it. Leading by five. Kid against Austin. He dishes it to McGrady. Over Terry. A shot by McGrady. No good. And here's Chandler who brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Outside kid. Back to Terry. Pass to kid. Five on the clock. Oh my! He'll go to the line with a chance for a four-point play. That one is on Olsen. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Butler he's checked in for the Mavericks. A free throw drops for Kidd. Kidd, such a great two-way threat who makes everybody around him better. What a player. McGrady outside. It's tipped and out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Good ball. Houston in the lead. Battier kicks to Yao. McGrady passes to Alston. Back to McGrady. Lock at six. Scola sets a screen for McGrady. And the three ball is good. McGrady's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Rockets. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now here's Terry. Five points in the game. Chandler kicks to Kidd. Terry against McGrady. Back to Kidd. Over Alston. And it falls over the rim and in. Kidd's got his second basket of the night. Alston with the ball. McGrady outside. Dishes to Yao. Pass to Battier. Stole with it. Knocks it loose. Kid with the steal. On the wing, Terry. To the paint. And Butler gets it to go on the assist by Terry. And that makes it a tie ball game. Oh, good vision from Terry. Able to find an open teammate there for the deuce. Outside, Scola. Now the dish to Battier. Back to Scola. Six on the shot clock. Over to Bitsky. And again, the Rockets good for two. And that's an owner's manual possession to get them a good look there. Alston against Kidd. Butler up top. Back to Kidd. Nowitzki with the screen on Alston. The 17 footer. Here's Chandler. Outside for Kidd. Outside Butler. Back to Kidd. Tries again. Offside Chandler. Terry, that's a two. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Aaron Brooks, he's checked in for Tracy McGrady. Berea, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Now here's Brooks. Pass to Yao. Back to Brooks. Six to shoot. Top of the key. And the jumper is on the mark. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now, here's Berea. 
Nowitzki sets a screen for Butler. Shot from the top of the key. A really smart defender. Battier positions himself really good there for the block. Houston making some changes. Carl Landry's checked in for Skolk. Steve Novak comes in for Shane Battier. And it's Ross in for Ray for Alston. And then for Dallas, Haywood's checked in for Chandler. Stevenson comes in for Turk Nowitzki. And it's Kidd in for J.J. Barea. Ross kicks to Novak. Houston moving the ball around. No good there. Good defense by Kidd. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Now, here is Landry. Back to Ross. And the pass to Brooks. Another miss by Houston. Average trail by four. Pick by Haywood. Here's Stevenson. No good. And they can't put him into this drought. Brooks, the pass to Novak. Brooks outside. With the teardrop, and the layup is good. And the Rockets lead by six. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Here's Dallas. One thirty-five left to play here in the first. Here's Haywood. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Inside is what Haywood's game is all about, making it look easy. 124 left to play in the first quarter. Passes it to Ross. Kick by Yao. Ross passes to Yao. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. Average trail by six. Outside Butler. Haywood with a screen on Lynch. Butler with the ball. Yao picks him up. He gets that one. Haywood's got his second basket of the night. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. They set the pick. Ross, that's good. The defense made their presence felt, but Ross is just too explosive down there. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. Stevenson outside. Butler against him. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. Second team moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off of six. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Tumbo is checked in for Yao. And Tracy McGrady subbed in for Steve Novak. Mahinney is checked in for Dallas. Perea comes in for Jason Terry. Now here is McGrady. He's got 10. That one goes in. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Here's Perea, and it's to that. Andre inside, two on the clock. Good. And it's McCready who picks up the assist. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. And so it's the Houston Rockets heading to the bench with a seven point lead as we wrap up the quarter. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. We're back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Rockets. I love the defensive concentration so far in this one. They're getting out on shooters and really doing a great job of disrupting the rhythm. But how about their scoring in transition as well? That's been a big factor to this point. 
Are those high tops or track shoes these guys are wearing? My goodness. So with Nowitzki sitting on the bench, here's who Rick Carlisle's going with. Haywood is out there with Karan Butler. Then there's Kim. And there's J.J. Barea. And it's Stevenson in at the three, the small four. Now here's Brooks. Pass to McGrady. Kicks it to Matumba. Out to the wing. Here's Landry. And the layup's good off the glass. Landry's got the lead up to nine now for Houston. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And it's Berea with the ball. He'll bring it up for Dallas. Drops in the layup for two. Berea's got his first basket. Hard not to commend the confidence of Berea for a point guard. He's an excellent scorer, particularly inside. Andrea screen on Stevenson. Cross with it. He's picked up by Kidd. And Jason Kidd picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Mahaney's checked in for the Mavericks. Marion comes in for Stevenson. Sean Marion. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Mavericks trail by seven. Outside Kidd. Berea against Brooks. Let's a floater go. A shot by Marion, no good. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Out to Brooks. Andrea screen on Marion. Brooks with no one around. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Brooks has got six. And here are the Mavericks now. Outside Butler. Back to Berea. Mahimi with the screen for Berea. Just five to shoot. And it's sent back by Matumbo. And this is Matumbo's calling card, using that wide wingspan to just erase shots left and right. Ross for three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Here's Marion. And it's sent back by Matumbo. And that's on a bounce. Dallas will retain possession. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. Here's Berea. Marion outside. Pass to Kidd. The feed to Mahini. And a great assist by Kidd as that one goes in. Mahini's got his first bucket of the night. Brooks outside. Back to McGrady. Launches a three. Buries the long-range jumper. He's got 15. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Yeah, another column in the stat sheet that hasn't gone in their favor. To climb back, they've got to put forth more effort. And good that time. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. It's deflected. Excellent job by McGrady using his length to deny that shot. From the high post, Landry gets the bucket. Landry's got four points this quarter. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Correa, the pass to Butler. Behind me, a screen on McGrady. Kid against McGrady. Six on the shot clock. Right side kid over Ross. That's good. The Houston lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Kidd. Well, you got to respect Kidd's decision making. I mean, this guy is so good in the pick and roll that he's comfortable passing or shooting. Now, here is McGrady. He's got 15. Broke loose. Fire. 
misses the three, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. So for the Rockets, Luis Scola, he's checked in for Matumbo, and Ray for Austin is subbed in for Ross. And Dallas with a change here, too. Terry's checked in. On the wing, Terry. Marion setting the pick for Terry. Marion outside. Butler kicks to Terry. Marion a screen on Alston. Here's Terry. And Scola pulls it down. Right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. McGrady outside. Nice move. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Brooks. McGrady's got the lead up to 10 now for Houston. McGrady's gone six or seven from the field here, getting just about everything to drop. On the wing, Terry. From past the arc, drills the three-pointer. Terry's got eight. A go-to shot for Terry. He has so much confidence in his three ball. Now Brooks, six points for him. Outside Landry. Alston against Terry. Back to Landry. It's stolen by Mahimi. Landry against Terry. He dishes it to Mahimi. Marion outside. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Outside Butler. Shot clock at six. Over McGrady. It's good. And the Rocket lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Butler. What a move showing off the handles there. And here's Brooks. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. They've led by as much as ten. McGrady a screen on kick. McGrady against Butler. Out to Brooks. The pass to Alston. Scola a screen on Terry. Alston and the dunk by Scola. Boy, you can see the floor where this Alston has really excels at getting the ball to open teammates. Mavericks trail by seven. Terry outside. A three. Another three for Dallas. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. McGrady outside. He feeds it to Scola. It's stolen by Mahimi. Passes it to Kidd. Terry outside. Mahimi with the screen for Terry. And Dallas again with the bucket. And that Terry jumper there, that's the shot capable of doing a lot of damage on the spot up or the pull up. Terry's got a great eye for that shot. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. Houston making some changes. Now checked in for Landry. Patty comes in for McGrady. And it's Jackson in for Aaron Brooks. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Now here's Jackson. Alston passes to Jackson. Back to Alston. Takes the three. The Mavericks pull it in. Here's Mary. Hasn't made one yet. Top of the key, Butler. It's good. This game is all even. Slick crossover move. The defense had no way of keeping up. Nasty out. And here's Alston. Scola, a screen on Terry. A three-pointer is right on target. Alston's got six points. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Kid passes to Butler. Hit against Jackson. Butler kicks to Merrick. 
Back to Butler. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Here's Kidd driving to the basket. Pass to Jackson. Now against Davinsky. Outside Jackson. Feeds it to Scola. Eddie outside. Yao with a screen on kill. Patty for three. Terry grabs the board. Average trail by three. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. I love the fact that he's always ready to handle the contact and punishment, especially inside. And that one falls for Nowitzki. And the Mavericks making a change here. Chandler's checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. The pass to Jackson. Back to Alston. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Alston's got his third basket of the night. It's a close game here in Houston. Outside, kid. Marion, right side. Chandler with a screen for Marion. Here's Terry. That's tipped. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. And here are the Rockets now. Following the miss by Jason Terry. Nickname Skip to my loop. Austin is somebody who plays with tremendous flair and energy. It's his first trip to the line. And he can't get the first one. And he's good on the second. An average trail by four. Kid with it. He's got 10. A floater, and the layup is up and in. Kid's got 12. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. 127 left to play in the first half. Now here's Jackson. Nothing on the board. Dishes it to Yao. Over Chandler. And he overshot that one, missing. And so here is Dallas. Outside kid. Back to Mary. He kicks it to Nowitzki. And stolen by Skola. Passes to Alston. Jacks up a three. And no good. Good work defensively by Terry. Pass to Marion. On the wing, Jason Terry. And it's Ray for Alston with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second team foul. Chandler outside. Back to Mary. Outside, Kidd. Just five on the clock. Chandler with the screen on Jackson. Kidd with the bucket. Jason Kidd. And how about the game from Kidd? I mean, we know he's an elite passer, but when his team needs points, this guy can carry the load as well. Now here's Jackson. to Yao. Over Chandler. And Yao gets it to go on the assist by Jackson. Eight points for him. And you got to appreciate the skill set Ming brings to the table. Knows no one can match up against him. It's simply lofting these inside shots. Up and in. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Rockets lead by two. And will return shortly.
Greetings, one and all. The postseason drama we love and no disappointment here as it's a close game so far for the Dallas Mavericks. I'd like to see them work hard on the glass, use that box out, use it or lose it. Yeah, gotta trust the big fella on that one. No one knows how to establish position and not let go of it better than the big guy. Looking at the series breakdown for the Mavericks. Some would look at this game as a must win in the series. One of the keys to getting it done. For me, Ernie, it's all about protecting the ball. Treating every possession like it's your last. And defensively, you got to be extra hungry. Chase on every rebound and keep constant pressure on the shooters. Good tips from the experts. Oh, when no one's an expert, Ernie. I am. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. This is we get going here in game two. We're seeing a tremendous game from Tracy McGrady. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Tracy McGrady is out there with Ray for Alston. Then it's Shane Battier. Then it's Scola. And it's Yao in at the center. It's the five for Houston right now. Oh, this is the impact Ming makes defensively, using that huge reach to block or alter shots. Outstanding execution. Good job working the ball inside. Now Kidd. Spins. There's the dish to Marion. Knocked away. Like at six. Kicks it to Terry. Takes a three. Rebounded by Luis Stoll. Yeah, but the defenders draped all over him. He just could not shake loose. Alston passes to McGrady. Yao with a screen on Terry. Let's it go from the 14. And it's Houston with another. And he's got all the shots. McGrady makes the mid-range look easy. Nowitzki outside. Terry looking over the floor to the inside. Yao with the block. And they start the second half with three straight misses. Right wing. Just over a minute and a half play here in the third. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And it's a nine-point rocket lead. Just make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from him. Terry outside. Dallas moving the ball around. Nowitzki sets a screen for Kidd. Back to Nowitzki. Halt the run. Good in the assist to Kidd. Kidd's got five assists in the game. Finally, they get one to drop. That's one of their first four here in the third. Rockets leading by seven. Here's Alston. He's got nine. to McGrady. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. Well, McGrady is just going off right now. He's enjoying himself and going after buckets with reckless abandon. And it's Terry with the ball for the Mavericks. And the Mavericks call time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. 
down low. And Stola with the block. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Jump ball. Clearly out of rhythm now, guys. I mean, just one for five to begin the second half. Right around three minutes into the second half. Yao, good assist. Assistant. Brady's got three assists tonight. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. You know, they came out of the locker room, revved up the gas pedal, and haven't slowed down yet. Now here's Kidd. He's got 14. He dishes it to Marion. The pass to Nowitzki. Nowitzki with the screen on the break. It's good, and the Rocket lead has got back down to single digits on a much-needed basket there from Jason Terry. McGrady dishes to Yao. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Shoots a fader. Mavericks with the rebound. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Marion kicks to Kidd. Chandler with a screen for Kidd. Hands the shot with nobody near him. Kid's got 16. Boy, he's playing out of his head, nailing everything. The defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now. And so far, no go. Alston against Kid. Back to McGrady. Trying to find Stola. He's got it now. Right on the bucket. Eight points for him. Yeah, and you got to respect the size McGrady has. Easily seen over the defense there to spot the open man. McGrady against Terry. They double team Nowitzki. This is it to Chandler. Five to shoot. Back to Terry. And the layup is good. Hey, Tyson Chandler is certainly not a selfish player, but passing is not his forte. Houston leading by seven. Outside, Stola. This is the Banier. Back to Scola. Pass to Alston. Over Kidd. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Rockets lead by nine. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Dallas calls timeout. in for the Rockets. Marion passes to Terry. Dallas moving it around. Chandler is screen. To the middle. It's picked off. And it's the Rockets on the break. It's tipped. Back to Kidd. Nowitzki outside. Good in the assist to Kidd. Nowitzki's got four points now in the quarter. You know, Nowitzki dangerous from mid-range. I mean, with his size, quick trigger release, high release point, I mean, he's almost impossible to guard. Rockets leading by seven. Castellano. He kicks to Brooks. Fires for three. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Terry outside. On the top of the key, and Dallas again with the bucket. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Now, here is McGrady. 24 points for him. Yao in the post. He's guarded by Chandler. 
Now, good. Yao, he's got 14 points for the game. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Kid, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting from Brooks. That's on Aaron Brooks. And a pretty crafty move there from Jason Kidd, doing what he can to draw the foul. Jason guys, Kidd. what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Rockets? You love how they've lived in the paint, making the defense just consistently have to collapse and still finding ways to convert. How great have they been? I mean, shooting the ball from outside the arc, they have absolutely been lights out. Karan Butler's checked in for Dallas. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. McGrady outside. They double him with Butler. Launches it. And Ray for Austin, the bucket on the assist by McGrady. Austin's got the lead up to 11 now for the Rockets. Austin's gotten half of his three-pointers to fall for him. Three of six on the night. Terry dishes the kid. Kicks to Chandler. Chandler with the screen on McGrady. And they double up up. Back to Chandler. Six to shoot. Here's the pass to Butler. Over McGrady. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebound, and he's certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Now here's Stoll following the shot by Karan Buck from past the arc, and again, it's the Rockets from deep. Well, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been triples. Here is Kidd. He's got 18. Terry outside. And he drives in. Oh, that's blocked. Alston against Kidd. Alston can't get it to go. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Oh, the lob to Levitsky. It's blocked. It's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. Boy, you got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on this block. Carl Landry's checked in for the Rockets. Terrence Ross comes in for McGrady. Then for the Mavericks, Deshaun Stevenson. He's checked in for Chandler. And Berea subbed in for Terry. From the inbound, a nice shot by Berea. Total focus by J.J. there. Ready to shoot the moment he got it. And the Rockets with possession here. And here is Brooks. Nine points in the game so far from downtown. And the rebound goes to Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Berea. Butler on the way. He's guarded by Ross. And Nowitzki slams it in. Got to try to keep pace with Nowitzki now. Once he sets that pick, he's looking to get the ball back with a hard cut. And so Brooks will bring it up for Houston. It's a 10-point game. Shot clock at six. It's stolen by Berea. One forty-four left here in the third quarter. Nowitzki sets a screen for Butler and slam dunk by Butler. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the impact stuff. Well, turning defense to offense. We talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Now here's Ross. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And that's a case where the deceptive strength 
that Ross has helps him score over the defense. Can't afford to take this guy like And he's got his first chance at the line here. Jackson, he's checked in for Houston. The Mavericks also with a sub. Haywood's checked in. 115 left in the third. Berea against Jackson. Here's Kidd. Got a hand on it. Yao with it. 14 points for him. Pass to Brooks. Now here's Yao. Buries it down low. Yao's got 16 points. And how about Ming just going to work? His guys are getting him the ball, and boy, is he rewarding. Big by Haywood. Here's Butler. Got it in the Houston leads. We got down to 11 on the bucket from Haywood. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. Here's Landry following the score by Dallas. On the line. Here's Yao. And the basket is good. And he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And guys, this is just so difficult to stop Yao. Yeah, his size and strength let him go right through that contact. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Sean Marion is checked in for Stevenson. Mavericks trail by 14. Now, here's Berea. Now, Haywood. He's got six. Here's Butler. It's blocked. And it goes out of bounds. That one is off Landry. Here's Butler. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Houston on top, leading by 14. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And let's listen to head coach Rick Carlisle review the game plan with his guys. Hold your ground. Hold your ground. Your job is just to stay in front of this guy. No blow by. Well, preaching strong defense there, GA. I mean, basic fundamental. He doesn't want to see anyone on his team get burned on that end. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the floor for Dallas, starting the fourth quarter here. Stevenson out there with Butler. Then there's Marion. Then it's Terry. And it's Berea in at the point guard position. Now here's Terry. Inside. And Marion gets it to go on the assist by Terry. Terry's got six assists in the game. Marion navigating around defenders in close. That's really good work for a guy with a nice touch inside. Pass to McGrady. They double him with Stevenson. Ross with a wide open look. Drains it from beyond the arc. And the Rockets lead by 17. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Well, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Now here's Terry. Marion setting the pick for Terry. It is good. Jason Terry's got 21 in the game. At a size disadvantage, clearly, but Terry still found a way to make it work. And there's the pass to Ross. Brooks with a screen on Stevenson. Ross, that's good. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. You're exactly right. I mean, those come back to bite you every time, just like it's biting them now. Now, here's Stevenson. The kick outside to Butler. Shot clock at five. And they double up up. I'm deep. Stevenson. Rockets with the rebound. 
Gauss got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to it? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead, and as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. Here's Butler. Yao Ming picking up that last basket. Marion setting the pick for Berea. Driving inside. Yao with the block. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. And the Rockets making a change here. Matumbo's checked in. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Four on the shot clock. Butler, no good. Houston leading by 20. To the inside. Brooks, good. And it's McCready who picks up the assist. McCready's got his ninth position in the game now. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Dallas calls timeout. Hey, for Alston is checked in for Ross. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Maria, the pass to Terry. Here's the floater, and he sinks the layup. Terry's got four points this quarter. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Hard anchor, it passes Greg, are really paying off for them at the moment. And also good off-ball movement. Everyone is paying attention and looking to create the best shot for the team. Now here's Brooks. Andrew gets to Alston. Andrea screen on Buck. Deep two from Brooks. Mavericks with the rebound. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Outside Berea. And a miss there on the triple. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Landry gets the bucket. And that's almost automatic anytime he can get the ball in that position. And it's Berea with the ball. He'll bring it up for Dallas. Outside Butler. Marion setting the pick for Butler. Pulls up. High post. Dikembe Mutombo pulls it in. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Brooks, the pass to Lent. Got that bucket. That's their third straight make off an assist. Landry's gotten everything to fall. Shooting six for six tonight. Alston against Terry. Plays it up off the glass. Terry's got 12 points here in the second half. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. They double him with Stevenson. Marion with the steal. Terry in the corner. Outside Berea. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. It's good. Great play set up by Berea. Great pass by Berea. Don't let his size fool you now. He's got a big heart and big game. Houston moving it around. And Landry throws it down. Almost an impossible shot to block in the post. The defender can't give up that much of a height advantage and expect to contest it. Trail by 21. Right side, Terry. And it's good for two. Terry's got eight here in the quarter. Got himself into really good position there. Can't pass that shot up, guys. Brooks kicks to McGrady. Passes it to Lent. Matumbo is screen on Terry. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. 
And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Boy, I like the disposition and attitude since halftime. They're patiently looking for good shots. Marion setting the pick for two. And it's sent back by Matumbo. McGrady outside. They double him with Stevenson. Here's Matumbo, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Matumbo's got his first points of the game. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Here are the Mavericks now. Correa dishes to Terry. In the corner, it's Stevenson. Another three for Dallas. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Houston leading by 20. Outside Landry. Matumbo sets a screen. Landry against Butler. Landry no good. Marion outside. Pass to Terry. Brooks on the double team. Landry against Butler. Six on the shot clock. Over Landry. Rockets with the rebound. McGrady's got four rebounds now tonight. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Oh, good on the triple. Mavericks trail by 20. On the wing, Stevenson. Back to Berea. High arcing shot. From the arc. Frames the three, and yes, he'll go to the line for one more. They get Sean Merrill. And he's on his way to putting up a big three-point total. Timeout called the Rockets. At the line for Houston, Tracy McGrady. One shot. So for the Rockets, Yao, he's checked in for Matumbo. Scola comes in for Carl Lent. And Shane Battier subbed in for Brooks. Then for the Mavericks, Chandler's checked in for Stevenson. Novitsky comes in for Karan Button. Jason Kidd is subbed in for J.J. Barea. Now here's Terry. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on Yao Ming. Well, I like the fire that Jason Terry plays with. I mean, this guy is very energetic. He's a combo guard. And he plays and shoots with a ton of confidence. Free throw, good, Terry. He hits both from the strike. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency is, you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Yeah, and it's blocked by Kidd. Terry, the pass to Kidd. Chandler outside. Terry with it. Now McGrady defending. Fades and shoots. That's good from Novitsky on the assist by Terry. Terry's got assist number eight now on the night. So it's the Rockets now. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. McGrady outside. Chandler with the rebound. Chandler's got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Terry. The shot's good. 31 points for Jason Terry. Jason Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Rockets leading by 17. And here's Alston. McGrady is screen on kick. Chandler comes with the double team. Eddie outside. That's good. Great play set up by T Mac. Tracy McGrady. Eddie has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Kid with it.
Terry outside. Dow brings the double team. And the dunk by Chandler. When Chandler gets the ball near the hole, he knows what to do with it. Chandler's gone two or three from the field. McGrady against Terry. Now Alston. There's McGrady. And it's Houston with another. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Now here's Kidd. Down low. And stolen by Yao. Alston with the ball. He's picked up by Kidd. Alston can't get it to go. Mavericks trail by 20. Here's Terry. Again, the Mavericks score. And you can see Kidd's ability to pass truly is a gift. When one of his teammates is open, he is quick to get them the ball in rhythm. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. Here is Alston. The pass to Batty. Solid as a rock from 20 feet away. Battier's got five points now in the quarter. He's got that twitch. Battier knew he had to get rid of it quickly, and he did. We've got 123 left to play here in the fourth. Chandler outside. And here's Kidd from the arc. Another three for Dallas. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. 116 left in the fourth quarter of this one. McGrady kicks to Alston. Back to McGrady. And Terry over to help. Stole a pass to McGrady. Just five to shoot. For the three. Here's Yao. And Yao slams it in. When Yao gets the ball anywhere close to the rack, he's got one thing on his mind. Throw that thing down. So it's Terry bringing it up for the Mavericks. Trailing by 19. The dish to Marion. Chandler with a screen for Marion. Kid against Austin. Gow with the block. And here's Austin. There's 25 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And the dunk by Scola. It's just competing and, you know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. McGrady against Terry. He dishes it to Marion. He kicks to Nowitzki. Nowitzki with the screen on Alston. Here's Kidd. Another miss by Kidd. McGrady outside. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in the series. Up now, Drake, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. That concludes game two of the NBA Finals. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Tracy McGrady.